If you're traveling and wondering how to find short-term furnished rentals, then I'm going to walk you through the four places I love to find short-term rentals when I'm traveling. And let me tell you, I travel a lot. So let's go. Hey there, my name is Mike Fritz. I'm the founder of Titanium Capital Investments and Power Up Real Estate. My greatest passion is helping people create financial freedom through multifamily real estate. And on this channel, we specialize in helping you connect with information that can make you money. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time we do a video. And believe me, we love comments. If you have a question or comment in this video, throw it down below and we'll engage with every single one. There's four places I love to look when I'm looking for a short-term furnished rental. Whether that short term is a day or two while I'm in town, or whether it's a month or two months or six months, there's certain sites you can look at that are gonna help you surface furnished rentals that you can rent either short term or what we call midterm, that three to six month range. The very first place you can look is FurnishedFinders.com. Furnish Finders is literally people looking for furnished rentals. It's often used by the traveling nurse, traveling doctor uh, sector or corporate travel, but it doesn't matter. It can be used for anything. And the cool thing about Furnish Finders is you can negotiate the rent. That's the power of Furnish Finder. So if you're going in for one month, you can negotiate the rate. If you're going in for two or three or four, you can start to negotiate that rate down with Furnish Finders because you're not going through a site like Airbnb or VRBO. You're actually going through a management team or an individual owner. So you can negotiate that price. So Furnish Finders are owners like me that furnish properties and they put their property on Furnish Finders. And it's people like you may be traveling, whether it's for business or pleasure, it doesn't matter. And they're gonna connect you with people that have fully furnished apartments or fully furnished homes that can place you either one night, even up to 12 months. Literally, we found 12 month tenants off of Furnish Finders. So it doesn't matter how long you're going, that's a great place to look when you're traveling to an area. The second is one of the most powerful ones, one of the most known is Airbnb, which is a furnished site for short-term rentals. So it's people that are looking for mainly vacationers. However, we get a lot of business travelers through Airbnb. People, uh, we had a contractor one time reach out to us and was bringing in two construction crews, wanted to rent out two units side by side for his crews. Uh, for Literally, they rented it out for three months and uh, rented two units for three months. We found them through Airbnb. And let me tell you, my normal monthly rate, about 15 to 1800, they were paying me 2,700 a month. This is the power of these short-term sites. If you own them, if you're looking for them, and if you're on the receiving end of having to pay that difference, no, it's negotiable. Even with Airbnb, you can reach out to the owner and say, hey, I'm coming in for three months. Would you work with me on the price? It says $2,700 a month. Is there any way we could get $2,200 a month and I'll pay you all up front? So you can do some negotiation in order to get that fee down. If you own the property, it's great. But if you're the one traveling, understand those prices are negotiable. Not saying that they'll concede, but just know those prices aren't always set in stone. The third one is VRBO. VRBO is much like Airbnb. It's going to have furnished properties for vacationers. However, if you're traveling for a little bit more of an extended period of time, they'll, they will definitely be able to house you as well. But again, VRBO is another Airbnb. It's a kind of competitor to Airbnb, but it's another site where people come to, they can rent out furnished apartments or furnished properties for an extended period of time or just a few days, depending on how long they're gonna stay. But VRBO is at another site you can find short-term furnished rentals on if you're in the traveling game. And the fourth one is Booking.com. Booking.com is often seen as just if you're gonna go for hotels, but that's not true. Booking.com actually has short-term rentals, furnished houses and apartments on there just like we have. So Booking.com is another place you can connect with owners that have properties that can house you no matter how long you're traveling. But understanding how these sites work, if, you're, if you travel for a living or you just wanna start traveling and doing some vacation travel in your retirement or doesn't matter how old you are, it's good to know how these sites work because you can often get a couple owners going back and forth in a similar area. You can reach out to two owners, say, hey, I've got a property over here that's gonna charge me 2,500 a month. Would you charge me 2,000 a month for yours? And I can book right now. And you can kind of leverage understanding how these work to get a little bit better price when you're in town. Now, if you don't care about the price, the business is paying for it and you're just trying to find a great place, you're still gonna to come to these sites because you can find a, a place that really fits what you're looking for. And again, as always, make sure you smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. Join our family. We love to help people just like you get more real estate quickly and get more income passively. I'll see you in the next video.